This is Eyewitness News, the news leader, with Bill Ritter and Liz Cho, Scott Clark with sports, and Lee Goldberg with the exclusive AccuWeather forecast. Now, Eyewitness News at 11. Well, the economic crisis is taking a toll on families across the area. Many are uncertain about their future from the ability to maintain their homes to being able to send their children to college. For a closer look at the questions many families have, we're joined by financial advisor Richard Beg Bregman. But we begin first with Lucy Yang in Canarsie, Brooklyn, with one family struggle. Lucy? Well, Sade, as the economy collapses all around us, it is hard not to feel a new presence at the dinner table anxiety. We spent the evening with one family here in Canarsie, Brooklyn. They were kind enough to share with us their financial fears. 53-year-old Jocelyn Jadot works as a hotel housekeeper. She is also a single mother of three in Brooklyn. It is not easy making ends meet. Sometimes you want to know how you're going to make it. Her 26-year-old daughter, Maybell, lives at home. Working as a real estate agent, Maybell has seen sales and her commissions hit the brakes. I'm concerned about when I do start my own family. Am I going to be able to, you know, afford an apartment? Nathaniel is a senior at Stuyvesant High School, obviously very bright. He has set his sights on becoming a doctor. But first, he had to figure out how to pay for his education. But how much financial assistance I'm going to be able to get you know, depends on how good the, uh, the economy is. If the economy isn't good, I'm, I don't believe I'm going to be able to get much. 14-year-old Conan attends the prestigious Browning School on the Upper East Side. He says the financial collapse has stretched its tentacle into his classroom. Some of my friends I know had to pull out the school because since the stocks dropped that much, their, uh, I guess, their money wasn't enough to pay for the schools. So the Judos, like many families, have very real concerns about their financial futures. Joining me live now is Mabel with her question for our investment ad advisor. Mabel. Are there any good sound investments besides home ownership? <laughs> oh, that's a great question, Mabel. That's a great question, especially when it seems like nothing is safe right now. But there are safe places to put your money. The safest place of all is United States Treasury bills. These are short-term obligations of the United States government, and they're backed by the full faith and credit of the U.S. government, so they are safe. Another place you can put money is in bank-insured, FDIC-insured bank money market funds or bank CDs, up to a limit of $100,000. They're insured by the federal government also. And Richard, our viewers are also sending in questions at 7 onlinecom We've got one here for you. And John writes, should I take my money out of my retirement plan? Big question. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a big question. The general answer is no, unless you really need to do it for a cash purpose. Um, your money inside of your 401k plan is only different from your money out of your 401k plan because the 401k is tax deferred. Okay? If you need to have a safe investment inside of your 401k plan. Uh, there are choices in there. There are money markets and there are bond funds inside of a 401k plan. So you can get the safety inside the plan as well as out. Richard, let me boil it down one step further. Just about everybody has a credit card. How will today's events impact a consumer's ability to just get credit? Yeah, it's a good one because it's tougher to get credit right now, mm -hmm. just generally speaking, because the lending standards have tightened up uh, enormously. Uh, in the old days, yeah. uh, a year or two ago, when mm -hmm. you were prob probably receiving 10 or 12 unsolicited credit card letters uh, in the every mail. day in the mail, uh, you could probably just go out and get another credit card and extend your credit or cover that shortfall. Mm -hmm. But now, those offers have dried up credit is much harder to come by and you're looking at really making sure that you can afford um, what you have now okay okay yeah. well Richard thank you so much for thank joining us at this much. late hour always keeping us informed thank Great you so much thank you thank you and I would just news of